Hey guys, I'm about to get on a flight to uh, go to Des Moines to do our rally. Uh, by the way, Brent Welder is going to join us in uh, in uh, Cedar Rapids on Sunday. tyt.com slash rally. Uh, and then obviously we'll broadcast it to everybody. Uh, it's, the speeches start at 4 o'clock uh, Iowa time in on Saturday, okay? But listen, I'm, that's, I'm about to get on a flight there. But the reason I'm doing this video isn't because of that. Um, it's because I got so mad at, uh, basically it was Trump's best friend in the Democratic Party, okay? His name is Richard Neal. He's, uh, he's the chairman of the House of Ways and Means Committee. He's the guy who was supposed to ask for the tax returns. He waited months and months and months before asking for them. Finally, he asked for them in April. They say no, and he says, boy, I'm about to take legal action any day now. That was three weeks ago. Still no legal action. He's not trying, he's purposely not trying, but that's not why I'm doing the video either. So all that stuff we already know. Now, New York State passes a law saying uh, you can get Trump's uh, state tax returns. And the only person who could ask for it is the chairman of the House and Ways Means Committee, and that's Richard Neal. And he says, I'm not gonna ask. Okay, so then you don't want him. You don't want him, so just admit it. You're not the resistance, you're the assistance. And he, he, no one could help Donald Trump more. A Republican couldn't help him more. There's not a single Republican that could help him more than Richard Neal by not asking for his tax returns. He says, well, then the Republicans will say we're doing a fishing expedition. If you genuinely believe that, you're incredibly stupid because the, the tr Republicans are going to say that anyway. They're already saying that. They're already saying not a fishing expedition. They're saying a witch hunt, a hoax, and they're talking about locking people up on the opposite side for no reason at all. So what are you, you're, you're playing patty cakes? That's what you're doing, Richard Neal? And the reality is, no, the jury's in, man. Of course, Richard Neal wasn't put as the chairman of that committee, the most powerful committee in the House by accident. Pelosi put him there to make sure they did not investigate Donald Trump. If you're wondering why on God's green earth would they do that? Because as Pelosi admitted, when asked, hey, why aren't you going after Trump? She made up a couple of excuses, and then her third reason was, we raise a lot of money from Donald Trump. They just want to raise money and play politics. They're the worst, the worst of the worst. So, Richard Neal, why do we want the state tax returns? For a fishing expedition? No, why do you think Donald Trump did the obstruction of justice in the first place? Because he's worried that you're going to find out his business ties. That's what he said to Mueller. Oh, that's a red flag, red line. I'm, I'm, they better not look into my business ties because that's where the criminality is. Go get the Deutsche Bank accounts, go get the tax returns, and you're going to see the money laundering. You're going to see why he wanted to obstruct justice in the first place, why he's been panicked in the first place. The, the deals that he made with Russia that his sons have already said publicly, admitted, we got all of our money for the golf uh, courses from the Russians because they really like to play golf. I mean, what an absurd thing to say. Both sons have admitted they've gotten all the money from the Russians. Where would you find that out? In his tax returns. And now it is not a Republican, it is a Democrat that is helping him to block that investigation. After New York passed that whole law, Neil says, I won't get it. Look, justice is coming, man. So, Richard Neal, you could help the Republicans all day long, and that's what the Democratic Party's been doing for the last 40 years. They're paid to lose, and so that your donors don't want you to do it, and, you, and then you think you can trick us into giving small dollar donations to Richard Neal and Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer and Democratic leadership because big bad Donald Trump is out there, right? Well, look, for all that we can do in spreading the message, don't do it, man. If they're not going, they're not actually resisting Donald Trump, they're actually turning around and helping him, well then of course don't s send your money over there. Go find uh, challengers, go find progressives. There's plenty of progressive candidates that are running for president, and soon there'll be plenty that are running for uh, for Congress, whether it's Justice Democrats or other groups, okay? But never ever help these guys whose main business is helping Donald Trump. So no, our job is to fight against Donald Trump, and New York State just gave you a perfect avenue to do that, and it's not politics. We actually care if he's corrupt. We actually care if he sold out the country. Those are le incredibly legitimate issues. I can't think of an issue that's more legitimate than that. And here's Richard Neal, the Democrat helping Donald Trump the most. Not the Democrat, the politician in the country helping Donald Trump the most is now indisputably Richard Neal, a Democrat that's 
has that incredibly important position. The two people to blame in this situation is definitely Neil and definitely the person who put him there. And so I know Washington media gets really upset when you talk about Nancy Pelosi and don't, you know, kowtow to her. But we're not going to do that. She's making sure that Donald Trump is not held accountable. Look, our position on this is crystal clear. By the way, tyt.com slash impeach. Send him a message. Send him a message. Justicedemocrats.com slash donate. Send him a message. Okay, and then actually send them real representatives who will do their job.